Hi everyone, it's 111 Pink Frosting, and I'm here to show you how to make some American Girl envelopes and mail. Okay, to start off with, we're just going to make a little envelope like this, and I'll show you how. Okay, so just you need you'll need um, some blank computer paper, a pen or pencil, some glue scissors, and a ruler, and a toothpick, and some kind of little box. I have this box, it's like a q-tip thing, and I'll show you what I'm doing with it later. Okay, to start off with, you'll need to measure the computer paper. So it's, um, it is, let's see. Six and a half centimeters long on your piece of paper, you need to make a little dot or two and a half inches. So I'm going to go across, make sure it's two and a half inches. And then I'm going to put a little pen mark on the side of my ruler. And then I'm going to measure how tall it is. And you're going to need to measure, let's see, about four and a half inches. And then you're going to put a mark. And then you're going to cut from mark to mark, just going straight up. Don't go across yet. And if you need to, you can draw lines. And then, so you've got it like this. And then as you can see on an envelope, they have a little triangle part at the top. So we're going to need to cut that. And how you do that, you just cut out a slant right across from one, where that little dot was. And you can just go up. And then you take the other side. Start at the dot. Go up. And you got to make sure that it's even because you don't want to turn out with a lopsided envelope. So it's going to look like this. And then you're going to fold it all the way up to your little black mark again. So don't go all the way up to the tip of the triangle. So it's going to look like this. And then on an envelope you have a little part here so you can stick your little tongue inside. So all you're going to do is cut down at an angle, go across, cut down at an angle again, and then match them up. If you need to make it bigger, you can. Let's see if I need to make this bigger. Yeah. So I just go down some more, cut across, go down some more. And then you've got it like this. And if you need to make it even, make it even because some sides you don't want it to look lopsided. It still kind of looks lopsided. Okay. That's better. Okay, so then you're going to end up with something like this. And you're going to want to glue down the edges. So you're going to open it up. And you're going to want to glue or tape. You're going to go down the side. All the way to the crease. You don't want to really go any farther. And you're going to go like this. But you don't want to get any glue on the inside because that's where you're going to put your letter. And then you're going to fold it up. Place the glue down. And you're going to test it out and see if you can put your... Um, flop thing inside the little envelope and then you have a little envelope and then you want to cut a little tiny piece off of your computer paper like little tiny rectangular squarish thing on my bobber and then you can make it look like a little stamp like put 
I don't know what you want to put, like stripes and polka dots or whatever you want. And then you're going to glue it on the back right corner of your envelope. Like that. And then you have your envelope. Now you need to make some mail. And what you can do is you can measure the envelope and cut some paper. And if it's too long, it doesn't matter because you can fold it up and put it in. But you don't want it to be too wide. And you can cut your paper. I would suggest with the size envelope that I told you, maybe about, it could go longer than that, maybe about like, Two and a half inches or like five inches of paper and maybe about two inches across and then you'll have a perfect piece and then you can write like to whatever your doll's friend's name like let's say my friend's name was Kit so I'm gonna write to Kit and then you can write whatever message you want from your doll and picture and then from their name so to kid happy birthday love some person's name and then you can fold it up open up your envelope stick the letter in And then close the envelope. And then there's your little envelope. But if you're sending it in the mail, can't forget to write the doll's name on the front. So you can write whatever the name is. And you need to know the name. So Kit, Kitteridge. And then let's say her address was 123 blah 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 street. Blah street. And then her postal code or zip code was 8235761 or whatever. And then she lives in um, San Diego. Yeah. And then California. And then USA. And then you're going to put your name here whatever your name is with your address, your postal code and everything and then you've got a little letter and if you want to make a little mailbox for your doll and pretend that there's mail in it or else you can send mail back and forth with your friends or whatever then you can get a little box like this, it's just a q-tip box but you can use like really any kind of box it doesn't have to be plastic but I thought this would be kind of cool and then you're going to take a toothpick and some tape and you're going to tape the toothpick to the side of the mailbox make sure it can still open up then you're going to cut a little kind of triangle-ish thing like this and you're going to decorate it however you want I'm going to put cupcake and then you're going to tape your flag to the flagpole like this and you're going to fold the tape and then you can just cut off the extra tape to make it look nice and then you've got a little mailbox put your mail in there and it's very cute so hopefully you enjoyed my video well, um thanks for watching bye